Before you begin to remove the starter, you must disconnect your battery. Please see the link at the end of this video for assistance with that project. The starter motor, green arrow, is located on the right side of the engine, below the exhaust manifold. It is not the easiest part to access. To replace the starter, you have to remove the front exhaust pipe, red arrow. You only have to remove the right side front exhaust pipe. Please see the link at the end of this video for further assistance with that project. Next, working at the center of the vehicle, the center exhaust support has to be removed. Start by loosening the four 12mm nuts, as indicated by the red arrows, then remove the two 13mm fasteners, green arrows, then remove the insulator plate from the vehicle. If you remove the right side front exhaust pipe, the next step is to remove the heat shield. Start by removing the E12 torque fastener. Then remove the two 10 mm heat shield fasteners. Working at the back of the starter, remove the 13 mm battery positive cable nut as indicated by the green arrow. Then remove the 10 mm nut for the electrical lead, red arrow. The 13 mm nut is covered by a plastic cap. Pull this cap straight off to remove it. Leave the cables attached to the starter for now. Working at the side of the transmission bell housing, detach the battery cable from the holder, green arrow. The green arrow points to the locking tab, detach the tab. Then lever the holder open and pull the cable out of its holder. The mount further back, red arrow, is held on with a starter bolt and will be detached in the following steps. Pull the starter cable straight up and remove it from the holder. Next, you will remove the starter fasteners, red arrows. The fasteners are E14 external torques. Use a long extension with a swivel adapter. When you remove the upper fastener, the final cable holder will be removed. With the bolts removed, detach the electrical connections from the starter solenoid, green arrow. First pull the large cable off, yellow arrow, then the small starter lead, red arrow. Now you can remove the starter from the engine. Just pull it out of the engine towards the front of the vehicle. Wiggle it if it is stuck. They usually come right out with no problem. Angle the rear of the starter motor towards the right. Then angle the rear of the starter motor up and remove it from the engine. Remove the starter motor as shown. It's a tight fit. Follow the steps mentioned to orientate the motor for removal. Then guide it down, drive end first. Before installing, I like to place the main starter cable on top of the exhaust flange. This keeps it out of the way. Install the starter into the engine, install the starter fasteners, and tighten. Install the electrical connections. Do not over tighten the battery positive terminal or the starter lead. The studs can break. Use a pry bar to engage the cable mount, red arrow, Press it in and listen for an audible click. Reassemble the exhaust and reconnect the battery. Check the operation of the starter, then recheck all the wiring is routed as before. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.